Oh, I can see myself now. Check this out. That's good. We're on silent. Four. 4.20 p.m. Well, of course, it has to be 4.20 p.m. Right now here, out here doing uh, before the church video. Anyway, welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you can see, I'm wearing a cowboy hat. And the reason why I'm wearing a cowboy hat because I want to realize my uh, childhood dream of becoming a cowboy, all right? <laughs> and the only way to become a real cowboy is actually shooting like a real cowboy. And finally, I have an opportunity to shoot like a real cowboy I'm here on uh, the Church of Fire property. In fact, uh, only 40 minutes before our sermon about to start, so I have 40 minutes to rock and roll and make this video. Um, out here on the property, no, no rules, obviously safety, whatever, all of that. So we're, gonna, we're gonna follow the safety, whatever. Anyway, forget about the safety. Let's uh, talk about what we actually needed for uh, making this video possible. Okay, I have my uh, legit... Wait a second. Stuck. There you go. I have my legit cowboy 1979 Smith and Wesson chambered in the, like. Can you say chambered in the revolver? There is a chamber in the revolver, right? Is this technically a chamber, right, or just a barrel? No, actually. Or wait, do you say cylinder in the revolver, or do you say chamber? Anyway, let me know in the comments below. I have a legit cowboy revolver over here, 357 Magnum. And finally, I was waiting for this thing for a very long time. I'm gonna show you. I'm not undressing, I'm just taking off my belt. Check this out. Look at this holster. It is a uh, JP and a really, really good friend of mine, my brother, my brother Mike, uh, gave me this as a gift. This is actually a legit uh, NYPD. I don't remember what year, but it has to be pretty <laughs> pretty old. Now my brother Mike, he's a uh, 15-20 uh, year veteran NYPD and this is this is this is his gift from me. So finally I do have uh, a full setup to be a legit cowboy, right? I have a holster for my revolver. I have the revolver. I have some little bit of ammo which is insanely overpriced at uh, as of today. I think this box is 50 round box, $57.99. Holy cow, that's more than a dollar a round. But you gotta, gotta make sacrifices if you wanna be a real cowboy. And I have my cowboy hat. So, we have our target. Well, you can see the target. Check this out, you see the target now. You see everything now. So, um, and I have my uh, GoPro something. 10. Hero 10. Hero 10 Black. So we're going to test that as well in this video. See how it records a slow-mo shot. We'll find out. Now I never shot anything off the hip. Honestly, how hard can it be? Now, actually, if I'm completely honest, it really makes me nervous. So... <laughs> Not so easy. Okay. How hard can it be? Well, we'll find out. So we're gonna put some, uh, one round. I'll start with one round, just in case if something go <laughs> goes wrong. And uh, now if you have not seen the review of this, this revolver here, like I said, I'm not very experienced in uh, revolvers. Now this was my very first revolver that I got and I got really, really lucky. Uh, a guy who was actually, I think also NYPD, he just did not want this revolver and he, no, not NYPD, something in New York, but he, he wasn't a PD, he was something else, um, but also in service. Anyway, let's put some protective gear, because the safety is, is important, all right, and uh, we'll do uh, some shooting. I think I'm going to start with one hand first, and then I'll do off the hip. Wait a second. How the hell? How did cowboys do it? They didn't have the ear protection. There you go. <laughs> Check this out. So, off the hip. Well, I'm kinda nervous about this. Jeez, I feel like I'm shooting for the first time in my life. <laughs> 
Damn. All right. So let me just do a, a normal shot. Okay. It's not that bad. It's not that bad of a... You know what? It's really weird, actually. It's weird because you feel recoil much less with one hand than with two hands because I did the review of this revolver and I shot with, with what am I doing? With both hands and uh, I mean the recoil is, is definitely 357 Magnum. I know for, for some of you experienced guys it's like, yeah, it's nothing. But for a rookie like myself, that's like, uh, damn, holy cow, this is strong. And uh, you can hear the peacocks. Oh yeah, now that is some cowboy stuff. You can hear some peacocks going crazy on the background. All right, let's do this off the hip. So one in the slow one, and then I'll try to get it fast. So draw. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool, I like it. All right. So let's, let's hit the target at least this time, all right? Didn't hit the target, all right. Got uh, six more rounds. Let me practice this a little bit. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna try this. See, this is what happens when you just you know what, let me try being a legitimate cowboy, because cause the legitimate cowboys in the Western world, back in the day, they didn't have no fancy ear protection. They just go deaf, so we'll just go deaf. And uh, actually this time, what I'll try to do is, while drawing... Yeah. <laughs> Technical difficulties over here. I wonder why is it uh, the sides? It's the sides that get stuck. Okay. So while okay, there's a lizard there. I don't want to shoot the lizard. Come on, lizard. All right, let me clear the lizard. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Get lost. You're gonna get shot. I don't want to shoot you. Poor little Geico. I don't want to shoot a poor little Geico. This 15 minutes can save you 50% of more. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'll try to do this time. I'll try drawing it, and while I'm drawing, I'll try to put it in single action. Okay, so let's see. It's point and shoot, basically. The technique is the same technique that I was talking about uh, in the video. I don't remember what it was called, but it's something from like a noob to mark me like I'm freaking marksman or something. Uh, <laughs> which I'm by no means am. Uh, but basically the system, if I understand it correctly, and you guys let me know in the comments below if you have more experience with the revolver, I would really, really greatly appreciate it. Uh, the technique is that what you're doing is basically you're doing the same thing as just pointing at something, right? So look, I, I'm not even thinking about it. I want to point at something, boom. I'm pointing it and I'm pointing it right at basically the finger where your finger pointing and supposedly supposedly from the uh, psychological standpoint uh, it's natural for people to just be able to if you're looking at the object you point at it with your finger and it's your finger is right or very close on the object because that's how we basically learn how to communicate whenever we grow up while we do not have language skills while we we're still growing up we cannot talk right we point at things, so that kind of is like pre-programmed into our DNA. Okay, <laughs> I freaking talk too much, let's just do some shooting. Okay, so uh, that's what I'll try to do. Not think too much, not try too hard. Point and shoot, point and shoot, and I'm trying to hit the, you can see it right here, this is it, this is the, round whatever plate steel plate oh yeah yeah 
So I'll try to do it in single action. Huh? Went too deep. That's what I'm not gonna say. <laughs> single action. I'll put ear, eye protection, but no ear protection. Let's see how loud it is without the ear protection. That's what cowboys did back in the back in the day. That is too freaking loud. I'm gonna put my ear protection back on because I'm definitely gonna go deaf. And I still have a church sermon to attend. So, you can hear it like that. The thing is, you can't really do cowboy shooting without the cowboy hat on, because then it's just regular shooting. So, same thing, take out, single action, off the hip, shoot. Looks kind of close, but I don't know. It looks close, but I, I don't think it is. Come on, I got three more rounds, I gotta hit that target. Two more rounds. One more round, I gotta hit the target. Let's do it. I think that's it. Sorry, pickaxe. So. As you can see, just because you have uh, <laughs> everything you need to be a cowboy, doesn't mean that you are a cowboy because you actually do need to practice quite a lot. And uh, if you're just on this channel visiting for the very first time and you never watched any of my videos, uh, you, I think it's raining over there, but not over here. That's Florida for you. So if you're very first time it's on this channel, uh, you probably don't know my shooting skills. I am okay with uh, semi-automatics. I've shot plenty of times, but as you can see, this style of shooting is completely, completely brand new world for me. And obviously it goes without saying, practice makes perfect and you have to actually work on something. And just because you're good in something doesn't mean you were good. Just because you're good with whatever, rifle shooting, right? Doesn't mean you will be good with a handgun at all. It's a completely different area. Uh, obviously the safety basics, the whatever basics you know, good, it's good, all right? now. You can shoot without shooting yourself or something like that or maybe blowing your eardrums out like I did just now <laughs> but, but it doesn't mean that you will actually be able to hit the target even from like freaking 10 feet so let me know in the comments below guys how you can help me improve my cowboy skills it's still my childhood dream I need to work on it and I need to figure out how to make it happen uh, but I am glad that I was able to actually finally finally for the first time in my life try shooting over the hip uh, it's much harder than I expected, but at the same time, it's easier than I expected in a way that uh, the recoil. Uh, I, I did not expect the recoil to feel so natural and almost like that's the way it should be. The only thing that I need to work on obviously is hitting the target because yeah, whatever, the recoil management is great. Yeah, whatever, your grip is great. Your draw is fast, which is not in my case. But even if it is, if you cannot hear the target, all of this is pointless. So thank you very much guys for watching. This was Firearms of America. I will go around the property, make uh, uh, one video for uh, the church. And then we're gonna start the church in uh, about about 30, about 25 minutes. Thank you very much guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.